let's understand what is this main dot xaml file right what is this xml is all about when you right click if you go to open file location it is going to show you the file location where this file exists so right now what is this xml file we need to understand i'll give you a few important uh, information which is going to help you okay first of all let's understand the uh, what it stands for xml stands for extensible application markup language extensible application markup language now what is this used for this is actually used to build graphical user interfaces let's say i would like to build an application for windows so uipath is an application which is on your desktop or it's a windows based application now to build such applications this xaml is used developed by microsoft to create windows desktop based applications this is also pronounced as xaml okay this is important how do you pronounce it you pronounce it as xaml so this one microsoft it is created by microsoft so let me show you uh, let me go to my google so there is a um, a platform called microsoft wpf uh, windows presentation foundation windows presentation foundation windows presentation foundation is a free and open source graphical subsystem originally developed by microsoft for rendering user interfaces in windows based applications so you as ui pass is a windows based applications and there are multiple activities which you are dragging and dropping so whatever you uh, know all the things that you are trying to do it here in in this user interface because you are not writing a back end code for for example in programming language to print something you write print command right you use a print command and then uh, type the content inside that and it's going to print that but here it's happening just by dragging and dropping simply by writing it's doing the job you are not writing actual any command this is a low code no code environment wherein you are simply dragging and dropping an activity which is doing the job and all these things are stored in this xml file so that is the uh, user interface file which is used so that is all about your xml so in summary all you have to remember xml is a extensible application markup language used to build windows desktop based applications which can show you a graphical user interface so here the entire ui path is a graphical user interface right you are not writing any back end program to it so it will happen automatically because it's already written for this activity is already written what it has to do or what it's supposed to do so that's why all our files in ui path you would find uh, when you create a workflow it stores in a xml or xaml you call it as xaml so that's about it let's move on to our next stop